And state police say someone stole a shuttle van from Boston Children's Hospital and then led troopers on a chase into Mansfield. As WBZ's Ken McLeod tells us, police caught that suspect hiding not too far from where he ditched the bus. You can record all you want, just back up past the cruise, okay? Sure. Jennifer Tamasian had no clue what was going on as she rolled her cell phone on a swarm of state troopers, pointing their pistols at some stranger in her neighbor's driveway. Ran out to the cops with their guns drawn, so... You know, it was an intense situation. This sky eye video was taken well after the incident when the bus had been moved to a nearby parking lot. The ordeal began just after 1 p.m. when Boston police reported a small shuttle bus missing from Children's Hospital. Just be careful. He tried to stop quick to make us crash into the back of him. Thing is, it had a GPS device on board, so it didn't take state police long to find it on I 95 and give chase. I'm shaking like a leaf. But when the bus thief veered off Route 140 onto West Street, police backed off for safety reasons. We have small kids. Had it been an hour later, the kids would just be getting home off the bus. So, you know, we don't see things like that around this area that often. But apparently the guy driving the stolen bus didn't realize that West Street was closed for construction. So he ditched his wheels in a driveway and climbed under a dump truck parked next door. I have no idea what's going on. I didn't even notice the van that he had stolen was in our driveway until after the fact. 535, we have him surrounded and he's on any of the uh, truck on West Street. Still tracking the GPS, arriving state troopers located and cuffed the suspect without incident. Not just another day on West Street. Yeah, of all the driveways to pick, just our luck. State police have now ID'd that driver as 32-year-old Andre Biggs of Providence. He faces several charges, including motor vehicle theft and reckless operation. In Mansfield, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. All right, Ken.